I'm not satisfied just to be a participant. I want to be able to run well and go to the front. My name is Ralph Cook. Uh, I've been uh, racing since 1961. I uh, started out with a Hudson Hornet. I'm currently 78 years old and never expected to be able to be competitive at this age, but since I am and I'm still able to run with the, uh, in a very tough division, still, still racing, I'll race as long as I can uh, have a chance to run in the front. Well, ever since I uh, was a teenager, I've enjoyed, uh, I've enjoyed the speed uh, wanted to race when I was uh, a late teen, didn't have the money to do so, went in the Air Force, came out, uh, started racing in about 1961, and the first car was a, a Hudson Hornet th that I had uh, driven on the street before I went into the uh, service, and it was still, uh, it was not streetable when I got out, uh, it, had, it had set too long. Stripped it out, made a race car out of it, raced it at the old Ascot Speedway at 139th and Western in Gardena. All, all that experience, man, that was a hell of a race. It was, it just, I just needed to get around those guys in front of me and yeah. get going, but. Ralph's a really good guy. I raced with him for a long time, years ago, and I quit racing in 94, and he continued racing, and, and uh, Ralph's fun to race with. He's, he's a gentleman's racer. He rubs you no more than you rub him. He will not take you out. He's a really good guy. Man, I've been out here at this track since I was since I was born, and from the time I really started remembering racing, when I was about 13, 14 years old, Ralph Cook was out here racing. Um, he went over, was racing in Victorville for a few years. I got to race with him. That was my first experience racing with him, and uh, you know he'd always always willing to come over and talk, give us some tips and, and hints about the track and what the track does throughout the night because it was a new track for us. And then coming out here, uh, you know, having him race with us now in Bakersfield. Um, I mean, he's, he's, you know, competitive. I guess it's hard to believe how competitive he is for, you know, I wish I could be like that when I'm that old, you know. I hope to make it that old, actually. <laughs> I'm the type of guy that, even if I do well, come from the back of the pack, get into the top five or six on the 22-car field, uh, I'm so frustrated unless I win. Uh, it's awfully hard to do at Bakersfield because you have so many good cars and so many good drivers that winning a race at Bakersfield is a real accomplishment. It's amazing to race with somebody who's been racing 10 years before you were born and they treat you like a complete gentleman out on the racetrack. Uh, at this point, I'm still healthy. I've still got reflexes and coordination for it. I attribute that to uh, probably good hereditary background and uh, never smoking and you still have to take care of yourself. You, you may live long enough to wish you had. And I'm uh, uh, proof that if you uh, avoid some of the pitfalls, uh, you can uh, enjoy life and do whatever you want to do uh, within reason, regardless of your age.